welcome back. Earlier today, I set you two mutilated chessboard puzzles. Did you solve them? This was the first one, the classic. The chessboard looks like this, and the question is, can you cover it perfectly with 31 dominoes of this size here? And the answer is, no, we can't. And this is why. The first thing to realize is that whenever we put a domino on the board, like here, or here, the domino will cover two squares, one of each color. So this would be fine if we wanted to cover a chessboard where there are an equal number of white and blue squares, but we have mutilated by taking away two blue squares. So now the chessboard that remains has two more white squares than blue squares. So imagine we were to cover the board like this, here. We are always going to be left with two white squares, however we choose to have placed them. They're here, but they could have been any other two positions. And we know that wherever these two white squares are gonna be, there's no way that a domino of this shape will be able to cover them. So no, we can't do it. For the second puzzle, we have a brand new chessboard, and now we are going to mutilate it by cutting away two squares, any two squares, one of each color. Now, the way you solve this is slightly different because what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a path through the board that, say, starts here, around the board, touching each square once, and then coming back to where we started. Now, there are many, many different paths through the board that touch every square. I'm using this one, but it works for all of them. Now, once we've done this path, I'm going to mutilate, I'm going to cut out one blue square and one white square, say this one here, and one white one out, say this one here. Now what you realize is that taking these ones out, we cut the path, or it's really a loop, into two. And with a bit of reflection, you can see that this path starts with white, and we carry on, ends blue. This one starts blue and ends white. So we can tile it with these domino shapes because the dominoes take one of each color. So we are, there are always going to be an even number of squares in these cut paths and they are positioned perfectly for us to do this. So we can cover this type of mutilated chessboard with dominoes. So the moral is this. If you want to mutilate your chessboard by cutting out two squares, if both of those squares are the same color, you cannot cover it with dominoes. But if they are one of each color, then you can. Checkmate. I'll see you in two weeks for a totally different type of puzzle.